So Heather was shocked when she walked out the front door. She's getting ready to do what she needs to do in the morning. And what she saw made her go back in, pick up the phone, and call the police. She just could not believe the vandalism that took place at her home. Oh, no. The police are like, well, can you tell us what happened? She goes, yes. As soon as I walk out the door, there's pepperoni all over my porch. There's pepperoni going down the stairs of my porch. There's pepperoni that leads all the way to my driveway where my car is. And there's four pieces of pepperoni on my car hood. I was vandalized. Um, it sounded at first like somebody just accidentally dropped some pepperoni. But when it's no, no, on no. the top of her car, yeah. that's a different story. And this isn't like the pepperoni slices that you put on your pizza. This is like they chop, They got a big stick of pepperoni, and then they cut into chunks this pepperoni, several of them, because of how many there are. And, I mean, they're, they're all over her front porch, from her door leading all the way to her car and four slices on her car. She's thinking, this pepperoni is going to damage the paint of my car. Somebody vandalized me. I think that's a strong word. I do, too. I think, I think more of a prank. I, she yes. must know somebody. And they're having fun with her, mm. and they did a prank. I mean, this is like, you know, there, there's, there. You can TP a house, right? That takes forever to clean up that toilet paper, especially if it's draped all over a tree. Well, this is also expensive because that pepperoni is not cheap. No, to- <laughs> no, not oh a stick God. of pepperoni like that. I mean, why you- not thin, thin slices like on a pizza? I mean, really big chunks of pepperoni. Like they from cut Hickory up. Farms, where yeah. they they serve you know the huge pepperoni stick or whatever. Oh my goodness! Yeah, you know Scott did a prank one day. What, <gasps> what was it again? Well, it didn't involve pepperoni, but uh, one, you know, Halloween, we were out, and we, instead of got getting candy, somebody gave us apples and fruit. And so being teenagers, we didn't like it very much, so we ended up throwing the fruit back at the house and just <gasps> plastered the house. So no pepperoni, but it was it was the fruit, you know, the well, that, apples. That was in his younger, wilder days. That's My right. younger yeah. days, I would oh. never do that. A now. drive-by fruiting.